What works? Language literacy and numeracy in training and assessment. How do I identify my learners' language literacy and numeracy skills? There's formal and informal ways of identifying them. Um, if they are learners in a classroom, we have the language and literacy assessment that's done pre-training, so they need to fill that in for the RTO's obligation under the AQTF. And from that, we're able to evaluate how well people are able to perform, can they fill in the paperwork, do they have trouble with it. And as a teacher coming into the classroom or taking over that learning group, I'm able to then readily um, identify who I might need to provide more support for. Is this the right course for them? What other strategies could I use to, to support them and make sure we have a good outcome? So if I have that information up front, that enables me to plan a lot better. Now, if the situation arises and you're not given that information up front or the timeframes don't allow that, you can do an informal assessment on day one or your first class. You can make observations, you can chat to students. So you can gather lots of information that will then help you plan a more effective program. If they're struggling with those questions at the information night, and usually you can tell they're looking a bit awkward or they're not sure what to write, or they have a pencil and they'll start rubbing it out and write something that they think is correct, we'll go and sit next to them, eye contact, one-to-one. -one. We'll ask you, you know, what do you think about living in an aged care home? Would you like to do this when, when you're an old person? So that's another way of informally testing, if you like. So it's not all formal testing. They might not pass the formal testing, but on one-to-one -one discussion, we think that with perhaps with the extra work, that's the discussion we'd have with them, the extra work they'll be able to get through the course. The test then goes to our English teacher. He has a look at it and then says, I think that this student is at level two, or they're two and a half, we think they might need more English before they do our course. Level three, yes, they can do the course and in they come. Why do we do it? So that we can support the students, so that we don't set them up to fail. In some of the companies I'm with, we actually do a screening test which is people have to actually go through an LLN, you know, test to see what their level is. That formative assessment of people's language and literacy and numeracy skills is very important. So uh, we're doing that all the time by the way they interact, by the teamwork they're doing, um, the way that they might work alone or complete documents easily or struggle over them. They're all indicators to me uh, of the types of skills someone has.